Hey y'all, welcome to another book review in the middle of nowhere. So this time I am reviewing The Malevolent Seven by Sebastian de Castell. I received an advanced e-copy from NetGalley that I applied for and graciously was approved. And boy, did I have a great time with it. Uh, I'm going to start with express why I expressed interest in reading this book, because this is my first ever book by this author. And I've heard great things about him from about the Great Coat series, I, mainly the, those four series, but even some of his his others. I think it's the Spellbinders. I can't remember. And I have those four in ebook and just had never gotten a chance to read them, even though they sound really intriguing, sound up my alley. For whatever reason, I'm sure you're, all of you can relate. I just have not gotten to that series. I am a big fan of the Seven Samurai story. Uh, I think that was the original one. I know it came from Japan where they, <clears throat> this village is being overrun by this oppressive ruler and they go out and they hire seven samurai to come fight the overwhelming odds. I'm a huge fan of the anime Samurai 7, which I will also post a picture of that one. Yes, I do watch anime on occasion. I do enjoy it. Uh, sometimes I just get, there's so many episodes I don't stick to it but this is an older one that I've watched multiple times and gotten to the end of it and really really enjoy it. Same concept just a little bit different take kind of more of a sci-fi take on that story as well as the western movies The Magnificent Seven the older one as well as the newer one that was just released I also enjoyed those. I also know Cameron Johnston I think just released a book a couple years ago based on the same idea and I did read that book and enjoyed it for the most part but there were parts of it that just did not land with me mainly the overall plot as it got to the end there were some things that just didn't click with me and so I was I saw this one and I was like I still love that story so I want to check it out so I applied for it on on NetGalley and fortunately they approved me for it and I loved almost every bit of this so it focuses on seven wizards, and they're not good. Uh, they're basically mercenaries out for hire. Uh, whoever pays the most, they fight for them, and they're fighting against other wizards that are kind of doing the same thing. So basically every wizard doesn't know have a prophecy or anything that way. They're just mercenaries for hire, and kind of there is the vibe that I got from them. And it's written in the first person, so you get in the main character, Cade, his head, quite a bit and he's narrating as this is past events which normally does not click with me at all. I feel like it kind of ruins that sense of doom and gloom because you know they survived because they're relating something that happened in the past and that just kind of doesn't click with me a lot but I really enjoyed it in this instance. I didn't feel so much even though he addresses the reader. Um, I didn't feel too much that way. It was more like, see, I told you I'm not a good guy. Because he constantly reminds you. And you see this relationship between him and this other wizard. And it's like walking on eggshells. They love each other and respect each other. But they could also stab each other in the back. <clears throat> if it suits their needs or desires or helps them achieve their goal. And that's kind of how it starts. And they're f wizards fighting other wizards. And he finds out about this contract where they're looking for seven wizards to go fight another seven wizards. And I liked it because he's kind of the reluctant guy. He doesn't want to take the contract. He's not just like, yep, I am the noble one. I will go and save you. It's not that at all. And it was really cool to see how they were pulled in and the different ways that they were pulled in and forced to go and fight these other seven wizards. I, then it ended up being this supernatural forces, like good versus evil, like angels versus demons, with another element coming in from a different world and trying to impose. 
and they all use their different abilities and they can all like touch different planes and every wizard is different and has different powers and abilities and it it's fantastic uh that was the highlight i did feel like the main character kate has a lot more power that we didn't really get to see in this novel and it does feel like it's going to continue the way that it ended it seems like it's setting it up for a sequel even though I don't know of a series name, uh, it has to continue. I, I need it to continue. It, it was that good. Um, but it ends up being like this more John Constantine type feel in a wizard fantasy world. And then they kind of work together. So like they fight demons, like work with demons, that type of thing. But he's not the all good. But... Yeah, it was just like this clever mashup of the Samurai 7 and John Constantine and fantasy and whatever else you can kind of think of thrown in. And it just really, really worked for me. Uh, if this is, and I could, the prose of this novel was so smooth, like it was so readable. I mentioned before my wrap up video when I talked about it, because this book did win my book of the month for the month of Ap April the month of April, uh, that I constantly was laughing, like the tongue in cheek humor, it was dry, it was witty, but it, it was spot on and it fit the character so extremely well and kept me reading and going and turning the pages that I just flew through the book. And if that's the case with his great coat series, I'm definitely going to be jumping into that sooner rather than later as I just loved every second of this book, but the, I constantly shared some of the comments, some of the, the humor that he would kind of put throughout it. It's just really good. I highly recommend this book, especially if you're fans of the, of the genre that I just kind of told you about, like those seven heroes fighting against improbable odds. You still get that feel in this novel but it's not the good, like the seven good guys facing overwhelming bad guy numbers. It was more like all powerful versus all powerful because they do have all sorts of powers and they're used in different and intriguing ways. And it was really cool to see how that works. And there were a few characters introduced that I felt like we didn't get to know plenty because it's not that long of a book. I think it's under 400 pages. And so you felt like there were a couple times that you wanted to know more about some of more of the other characters that you're introduced to later, because it's no surprise that there it's a group of seven that you're following uh, and knowing where it goes from there. And that's why I think that this will continue and continue to be a fantastic series that I will definitely be buying every book and interested to see where it could go in the future from here. But anyway, this was a five-star book, my book of the month for April. I highly encourage you to check it out. It does go on sale on May 16th uh, at your nearest retail location. Uh, and so I highly encourage you to take a look, uh, whether it's today or not, like, but give it a look, give it a go, especially if anything, if that sounds interesting to you. Uh, let me know what you think if you do, if you're interested in that in this book how you like my review videos. I try to keep them as spoiler free as possible, but anything that you, any changes you'd like to see, any, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. Put it down in the comments down below. Please give me a like and a subscribe just so I can continue to, to keep doing this. Know that I'm not just shouting into the void at this wonderful little camera here, but really I'm just happy to read books and, and take this time with you guys. So until next time guys, Happy reading and stay great.